Okay, I'm here. Um, so it's definitely the size of a fox. And you can see that it still has some red fur on its snout. Canines, pretty big. It's got some chew marks, like from where its tail was. So it looks like it's been chewed on. Um, here's its foot also. With fur. Um, this foot here has been chewed on. There's nothing on the ground below it. I've searched everywhere on the ground and there's no bone or anything. So I think this was definitely a fox. I can't tell if it was stuck or It's just weirdly draped in between this Y. So it would make sense to me that it got stuck. And then something came along afterwards, maybe a raccoon, and chewed on, chewed on it. I don't know what else would have put it up here like this, other than a human. stuck in its skull. There's really no smell to it at all. So it's been here for a while. I don't see... There's a little piece of spine that's been chewed on right there. But yeah, definitely the size of a fox. I'll put my hand up to its skull so you can see the size difference. So its skull would actually fit perfectly in my hand. But based on the fur, I would say definitely a fox because that's red fur right there. It's got nice clean teeth. And then, yeah. So the mystery is, how did it get here? Did it climb up and slip? Because this is one of those trees where the bark is like crazy smooth and slippery. Well, I'd like to think that something put it here and that it didn't get stuck and suffer forever.